Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to build a ping monitor and a scheduler. The main function execute ping is covered in the first part of this video. The link to this video is below in the description. Today we will see how to build a ping monitor and a ping scheduler. So let's get started. Okay guys, so now I've opened the ping tester file which we have created and on the side, on the right hand side, I have the VBA editor which you can also open using Alt F11. The first thing what I'm going to do is transfer this ping function to a module. In order to do that, I just click on to this VBA project here and insert a module. Now, all I need to do is double click on sheet one again, transfer all the contents from this to the module one. Immediately, I will go here in the Excel file and change the macro. Okay. And save the file. Let me check whether it's working. Yes, it's working. So the next thing what I'm going to do is add a column called last reachable at. This column will show us when was the last time the device was accessible. If the device is offline, then it will the value will not be updated. In order to do this, I'm going to go to the ping function and whenever my device is online, then I will update the current time. So I just copy paste this line and change the column number to three and the value is going to be the time, which is going to be the time when the device was reachable. So let me just do quickly some formatting for these cells to display the time value. And I just go to the custom here, formatting custom. It's gonna be inclusive date. Okay, okay. Now save the file and test it. Looks good to me. Now we have here the last reachable file time. So now we are good to go to the next function, the ping monitor. What I want to achieve is to continuously monitor the devices. So this can be done by saying monitoring status here. Idle. The default status or the initial status is going to be idle. I'm going to quickly create two subroutines. One is going to be the start monitoring And the other subroutine is going to be stop monitoring. So whenever I start the monitoring, then I go to the active sheet range F8, set the value to monitoring. And this is going to be a simple do loop until two sheet F8 value is going to be idle. And within the loop, we just we are just going to call the ping support in. For the stop monitoring, it's going to be simple. We just need to set the value to idle. 
Okay, now let's hook up these functions with, with two buttons. For this, I'm going to go to developer menu and insert two buttons. The first one is going to be my start monitoring. Rename this to start. And the second button is going to be my stop monitoring. Okay, save the file. Let's check now. So start monitoring, plop. Now you see it's continuously monitoring the devices. And okay, I'm finished with monitoring. I can go click stop and voila, it's getting stop. Now we see here this device, the, the one with 190 IP address was last accessible at 12.33 at 38 seconds, but the other devices were accessible at even 12.33.44. Okay, that's the monitoring part of this video. Now we are going to see the ping scheduler. So sometimes we would like to see if the devices are accessible at a particular point of time during a day. So for this, what I'm going to do is define a time, a schedule time, make sure the content of the cell should be a string value. Now I define the time to be 36, 12 o'clock 36 minutes and the status just to see whether it's scheduled or not the default will be not scheduled okay so i go to the vba editor and write two subroutines Now the resetting schedule part is also necessary because the application time also needed to be reversed. In order to do that, I'm going to reset the status to not schedule first. Not scheduled. And I'm going to deactivate the scheduling. Now let's hook up these two functions with buttons. If I were to set now, it's already scheduled. Let's just wait for it. Let's just wait another 10 seconds. Then let's see first the scheduling portion of the function. Yep, voila. The function has been executed and we see here the time. The last reachable time and when this scheduling occurs every day at 12 40 a.m now we have seen how scheduling of a ping function works for a particular time of a day in order for the scheduling to work the function must be set to scheduled 
with using the set command and the Excel file must be opened. Before you close the workbook, you need to reset the scheduled function. This will save you some errors and bugs in future. So in order to So let's just check this in action by closing the file and reopening it again. So we didn't have any bugs. There you go. In this video, we have seen how to set up a ping monitor and also schedule for a particular day of time. In the next part, I'll show you how to automatically call this Excel file even if it is closed and execute the ping function. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.